Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about the memberships that we use and that we recommend for RVers. Um, we only have four, so we don't go crazy with them. And we have gotten our money's worth out of these ones. They're really, really worth it, I think, for most RVers. So that's why we're going to talk about them today. Hi everyone, I just forgot to mention that I will have the links to all of these memberships down below. And thanks for watching. So the first one I want to talk about is the one that we use the most and I think that everybody would get their money out of and that is Good Sam. So the main perk of Good Sam is that it takes 10% off of the campgrounds that are affiliated with it, which are over 2,000 campgrounds. Most of the ones that we've stayed at are Good Sam. So uh, we just always get like 10% off and the membership. Okay, so it looks like Good Sam costs $39 now when we got it last year literally just last year it was twenty dollars i believe um but yeah you get ten percent off your campgrounds that are affiliated with good sam that's the main benefit but you can also dump for free at camping world and there's some other camping world benefits with it it's really worth it even at 39 dollars, if you camp a lot you'll be bound to make your money up from it and if you dump a time or two that's like 10 15 bucks a dump for free so yeah, I really recommend that one. So along the same lines of getting discounts for at campgrounds, we also have the KOA membership. This one costs $36 and you get 10% off every night you stay at a KOA. Um, we looked into this because we were staying a week at the Hot Springs KOA in Arkansas. And I was like, hey, maybe we should get this because we end up staying at a decent amount of KOA since our goal is to visit the national parks and there's always a KOA near the national parks but we've definitely already got our money out of that membership by just staying like a week at one KOA and we've stayed at another one since getting that membership but yeah that one's really worth it if you prefer KOAs or try to stay at them you just need to do the math and make sure that you're going to be able to get your money's worth of the membership so switching gears to a membership that I hope people don't have to end up and use like we did. We have a membership with CoachNet. So CoachNet is basically AAA for RVing and it actually came with our Airstream when we purchased it, which we are so thankful for because actually our first big trip from Ohio on our way to South Dakota, we broke down day one at the world's largest truck stop. I do have a vlog if you want to check it out. Maybe I can figure out how to pin it so you guys can see the mess that it was. But basically we drove all day and we were brand new to RVing and brand new to owning a diesel truck. So we turned the truck off to fill up where and we were going to stay at the world's largest truck stop. So we were just like, we're here, let's fill up the tanks and park it and then sleep the night. But we went to turn the truck back on and it wouldn't turn on. I forget exactly what went wrong, but it was like it needed work done. Um, so we were like freaking out. It was like 10 p.m. We'd driven all day. And so we were trying to call uh, towing companies ourselves, but they like weren't getting through at all. We were tired and hungry and stressed out. And I was like, hey, remember we have that coach net thing. Like, let's go get it out of the RV and set it up and let these people handle it. So we did that and they were able to get a tow truck to tow us to a parking spot. And then the next day, two tow trucks came and one took the truck to the mechanic and the other one took the RV to a campground. And we didn't have to pay for any of those towings at all. CoachNet covered that. So that saved us like well over a thousand dollars because that would have not been cheap. So we're happy we have it. It came in handy. Uh, they also can like, I'm pretty sure they can change your tires and get you out of like a ditch if you fall in a ditch or something. Yeah, I would really look into that and see if you can get it. It is a little pricey at $180 to $250. It's more expensive for the large Class A's. It's just like, it's really nice to have. They can tow you for free up to 100 miles. And if you have a travel trailer like us, if something goes wrong with your truck, like what happened to us, as long as you're hooked up to your RV, it's all good. We also have AAA now too, since we drive places without the camper a lot. So we have both of those. but. I feel like the coach net is more specific to the RVing. I would highly recommend just as a peace of mind. And if something happens, it'll save you a bunch of money. And if you don't end up using it, 
it still was a little bit of peace of mind that if something were to happen, you'd be have help coming. Lastly, our favorite membership is Harvest Host. This is such a fun membership to have. So basically, you pay $80 to be a member and you can stay at wineries, breweries, farms, museums, churches, places like that. They basically become a harvest host you can apply kind of like airbnb you like are like oh can i stay here tonight and they'll accept it and then you show up and you can stay the night there for free it's not really free because they recommend that you support the businesses so if you stay at a brewery you could have like a few beers and dinner or at a farm you can just purchase some of their stuff or give a donation Museums, you can participate in going to the museum. We've only used this twice so far because we don't really boondock that often with the way that our travel schedule is. Yeah, we recently stayed at an alpaca farm and it was so much fun. There's just like alpacas everywhere and they were super, super cute. And in exchange for staying there, we bought some farm fresh eggs and I got a sweatshirt. They recommend like $25 to $30. We spent way more than that, but it was really fun and really worth it. And all of the hosts are super, super nice. They always want to talk to you and get to know you. With all memberships, it's important to keep in mind that a lot of them auto renew. So make sure you put in your calendar like the day that it or when it's close to renewing. So if you're done with camping, you can cancel it. Or if not, you're just aware of the time frame because I feel like that's where a lot of people um kind of get like screwed over with the memberships but these are the four that we recommend um we are actually currently staying at a thousand trail we do not have a membership there but um this one we're in south lake tahoe right now it's pretty nice uh we talked to our neighbors that have a membership and they said that this is like the nicest one but i would only recommend looking into that if you're going to like purposely hack it because basically you can stay up the thousand trails for like up to three weeks I think for, for no added cost and then you just have to leave for a week and then you can come back to a different one or the same one I think but that just doesn't really work with us because like I said we've been we've been traveling since September and this is our very first thousand trails that we're staying at so it wouldn't really make sense to us but if you're full timing and your full timing your purpose of full timing is to try to make it be as cheap as possible maybe look into thousand trails I don't know Hello, I'm back again. So I just wanted to put out there that I don't think I went over all of the benefits. So if you have one of these memberships and there's a really good benefit that I forgot to mention, make sure you leave a comment below. And if there's a whole other membership that you think is worth it for more RVers, make sure you comment below because I'm definitely interested in learning more about the RV memberships. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.